Good afternoon, everyone. This is Ramona coming to you from Social Media How To's with Ramona. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to increase your maximum execution time in WordPress. While working on a client's website, I went to upload the theme and received an error that said I needed to increase the maximum execution time variable from 180 to 1200. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through how to do this if you're having problems doing this if you have a GoDaddy account. Something I've noticed about GoDaddy is that they've made it harder to access your PHP files. Not too long ago I was able to go into the file browser. I noticed that GoDaddy has hidden some rows or had done something different to that file because I can no longer figure out where to put the line of code that I need to put in there. And because GoDaddy took away those rows that I need to add the code, I actually did some research and found a different way to increase the maximum execution time. And in fact, it's, it's easier. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how to do that. The easy way that I'm talking about, I found it on WP Beginner's website. This is an excellent website, by the way, if you're just getting started with WordPress. I love their products. I use them on a number of client sites. And I also love listening to their tutorials and reading their blog. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll down. The article is called How to Increase the Maximum File Upload Size in WordPress. So I'm going to scroll down and show you what I found. Method one is contact your WordPress hosting provider, which in my case is GoDaddy. And method two is to create or edit an existing php.ini file, which is what I tried to do in GoDaddy. But again, those rows are missing and I'm unable to do it now. That's the way I normally do. Method three, add code to your WordPress theme functions.php file, which is what I used and what I'm going to show you. And then there's method four, add code to your ht access file and then method five which is to use a wordpress plugin to increase file upload size so i'm going to click on method three which is what worked and which was super simple so basically what they're telling you to do is download their wp code file i do have this on a couple of other client sites so i've used it before so i trust it so now I'm going to take you over to my client's website so that you can see how to install this plugin if you don't already know how to install it. And by the way, I've already done these steps, so mine is done. I just wanted to take you through it so you can see, and I also wanted to do it before I showed you how to do it just to make sure that it worked. The first thing you want to do is go to your WordPress dashboard and over on the left, click on or move your mouse over plugins and click add new in the search plugins box go ahead and type WP code and hit enter and as you can see again mine is active because I've already installed it you'll see a button that says install once you've installed it the button will then turn to activate click on activate and yours will become active over on the left go ahead and click installed plugins scroll down to WP code light now it says light because this is the free version which works fine however if you want to purchase the paid version you would click on get WP code pro and pay for it but what I'm going to show you how to do is um, just go ahead and click on code snippets once you're on the WP code page you should by default be on the all snippets tab now there were some snippets that were already in here that I need to go back and look at later I don't really know what they are but I need to check them out what you're going to do because you're creating a new snippet is you're going to go ahead click add new 
Next, you're going to hover over, add your custom code new snippet, and click Add Custom Snippet. It's a blue button. Then go ahead and click on PHP Snippet. Next, you're going to name your snippet. This is just so you'll remember what it is in case you create other snippets. Next, over on the article, it gives us the code that we need to drop in there. So you'll just, I'm going to give you this, by the way, in the description of this video. Instead of you trying to type it from what you see on my screen. So go ahead and copy that. Come back over to the WP code screen. And then you're going to go ahead and paste this in. And then, because I'm increasing my maximum execution time, I changed this to 1200, which is what they required. You'll change yours to whatever your theme requirement is. So make sure you pay attention to that when you get that error message. Next, in the upper right hand corner, you want to click on this button so that you can make this snippet active. And then go ahead and click on the Save Snippet button. You'll get a message here that says Snippet Created and Saved. So over on the left, if you just want to verify that it was saved, click on Code Snippet so that you can see all of your snippets. And you see this test has been created. So what you'll want to do is go back to that page where you saw that message that said that you needed to increase that. Uh, what I did was, and you can do it either way, you can do this first or you can do it second. What I did was I installed the theme anyway because it did allow me to install the theme on the recommended mode, which was uploading the images and the thumbnails. I went up here to the left and I clicked on visit site. And when I visited the site, the theme had been completely installed. So again, either go back to that page and install the theme or before you create your snippet go and install the theme it's completely up to you so if one doesn't work do the other if you found this video helpful be sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and click on the bell so that you'll receive notifications each time i post a new video once again this is ramona from social media how to's with ramona and with that i want to say have an amazing day